OK, hi there. Welcome to a video looking at the economics of fiscal drag. The 2021 budget has been notable for many reasons, one of which is the decision by Chancellor Rishi Sunak to freeze income tax allowances as a way of generating more tax revenues from direct taxes in particular. This is needed, uh, he claims, to help plug the huge gap between tax revenues and government spending which uh, has led to one of the highest budget deficits for decades. And here are some of the newspaper headlines on the 4th of March, the day after the budget, including the Times saying that the tax burden uh, is going to be the highest for over 50 years. Now, freezing income tax rates uh, may have the effect of creating what economists call fiscal drag. And undoubtedly, that was going to lead to an increase in the overall burden of taxation measured measured as a share of GDP, hence the headlines in the papers today. So that begs the question, what is fiscal drag? Well, fiscal drag happens when people's incomes, uh, perhaps their wages and their salaries are going up and they're earning and spending more, perhaps due to wages following prices higher, and their higher incomes and spending uh, drags them into paying more tax. Indeed, millions of taxpayers may be dragged into the higher marginal tax brackets. Therefore, fiscal drag has the effect, has the impact of increasing government tax revenues without explicitly raising the percentage tax rates. So Sunak has said that the threshold, the income tax threshold, the, the point, if you like, at which tax starts being paid will be frozen until 2026. They're going to they're going to increase it this year, but beyond April 2022, it's going to be frozen uh, for a number of years. And what that means is getting a pay rise could pull people into a higher percentage rate of tax. That is what's called fiscal drag. So income tax thresholds, both the income tax allowance and the higher rate threshold will be frozen from April 2022. The personal tax allowance, that's how much income you can earn before you pay income tax, that's going to be frozen at £12,570. And the higher rate, the rate at which you start paying 40% marginal tax rate, that's going to be frozen at £50,270. So quickly, let's explain why fiscal drag happens and what the consequences are. So the Chancellor has frozen tax allowances. What that means is as the economy picks up and recovers from the COVID pandemic, hopefully as wages and incomes rise, who knows, we may even get a pay rise this year, as the economy recovers, more people will be dragged into, will slide into, if you like, the higher tax brackets. And more people will earn over that £12,575 threshold and start paying income tax at 20%. Now, as people move into the higher tax brackets, that means they're going to be paying a higher percentage of extra income. And this, of course, is going to increase the direct tax revenue to the government. And all, all be well, uh, it's going to uh, reduce the size of the fiscal deficit. Interestingly, more people now pay higher taxes than, well, 20 years ago. 30 years ago, in fact, 30 years ago, one in 15 taxpayers paid the higher rate of tax. The Institute of Fiscal Studies are saying that by 2025, it'll be one person in six paying at least 40 percent on extra income. And this chart from the Office for Budget Responsibility, uh, reproduced on the BBC News site, shows what the impact of freezing income tax allowances will be. This chart shows fiscal drag. Uh, by 2025, uh, the government's going to be getting an extra £8 billion on forecast uh, coming into the Treasury. And that's quite a sizable accumulation of extra revenue just by a simple policy of freezing tax allowances. Uh, notice at the bottom there, it should say the Office for Budget Responsibility. I think somebody at the BBC Graphics Department was having a little bit of a laugh. Or maybe they know something that we don't know. So that's fiscal drag. And as the Institute for Fiscal Studies have said, perhaps we are now in a new phase of UK economic history. The impact of the pandemic, the size of the budget deficit, the government having to borrow over £350 billion this year, uh, the fall of 10% in GDP. Clearly, there was a huge fiscal black hole. And according to the IFS, taxes are likely to be at their highest sustained level in history for some time to come. 
So fiscal drag, it's a concept which uh, a few of us as economists love to talk about, and it's now big time in the news.